Hello everyone, this is Mr. Warlock FTW. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about this program called Mod Organizer. It is a great new uh, mod uh, managing program that you can use uh, to modify and uh, keep track of all of your uh, Skyrim, Oblivion, possibly Morrowind, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, whatever. Uh, I think it's most of the the games that are on the Nexus. I'm not quite sure if there's a limit uh, on which games you can use, uh, but it is vastly superior to the Nexus Mod Manager in my opinion, and I have switched over to using it. Um, it has lots of advantages, such as profiles. Um, I have several set up here. Uh, <laughs> this one's my brother's. I set up for him. He hasn't used it yet. But anyway, uh, as you can see, I have a ton of mods all installed here. And some of them are out of date, but um, you can update them if you wish. Now, w one thing that I like a lot about Mod Organizer. <coughs> Sorry, uh, is that because it installs the mods on a profile, you can have multiple profiles with different mods on them. Like, for instance, this is my Televani Wizard um, Dark Elf profile, and I have it built off of the Wizard profile. You can set up mods for certain classes, if you wish, and then make specific... Um, mods, f I mean have specific mods uh, dedicated for that character and have your save games dedicated to that profile as well so you don't have to worry about mixing different save games with different mods um, which is awesome. Now you can go to like here and take let's say the must have mods but that's an outdated one I'm going to delete that one Let's go to my Televani wizard. Okay. And no, I don't want to. Let's copy it. Let's name it um, test. Um, and uh, let's call it test mod uh, list. Okay. Now, it's going to copy that. Click on that. And then you can go to um, load saves, which, uh, if checked, save games are loaded uh, local to this profile and will not appear when starting with a different profile. That means if you want a set of mods just for one save game, you can have that. Um, and it's awesome. So, uh, then I have archive and validation. And you can transfer your saves, like let's say Vendril Cass or Rose Lachance. Um, and then this one, uh, Drakasaur, was an older one. And I have this one, it's a new uh, save game that I made with my profile that I just copied. So it has those saves on this profile. These are the global um, saves, meaning uh, that they're for all the profiles you can copy and paste them into here you can copy or move them so if you copy it it'll stay in here um, safe and you can copy it to a profile if you're testing mods which is awesome um, that way you don't have to worry about messing up your save game and it basically backs up your save game so um, I like that a lot uh, let's delete this one because I don't need it and I don't want it cluttering up. Hmm. I'll delete it later. I yeah, I'll just close it. Okay, so my Televani Wizard has a bunch of mods on it. And these are not all the I don't have all the mods selected for him, like uh casual bow animations. He's not gonna use a bow, so I'm not gonna use that. Or um there's something that I already have that fixes the brawl patch the bu uh brawl bug where if you punch someone certain mods have like a a built-in cloak spell 
for certain abilities and it acts like magic so that makes your character fail the brawl because it's one of the rules is you can't use magic in a brawl um, I don't have the companions mod the enhanced Skyrim factions companions mod installed on him because I'm not going to use the companions um, let's see some of the mods I have are installed twice uh, one with certain settings and one without like this one if I don't want realistic needs and diseases I can do this one instead of the regular harvest overhaul that has the uh, realistic needs and, needs and diseases patch uh, installed um, if there are let's say a mod that has multiple add-ons you can merge the um, the uh, patches into the main file uh, it's up to you if you want to do that but it makes it a little bit cleaner um, let me try to find something that has something like that um, one moment it would probably be something like um, well the realistic needs and diseases uh, unofficial Skyrim patch is something I don't know if that's no um anyway you get the idea uh, you can go to any one of these mods let's try immersive armors for NPCs or immersive armors I, that's one that I didn't merge I think it's not something you can merge uh, if you want to go to the Nexus web page for it you click here Nexus info and then you click on this and it'll take you to the Nexus page okay oh I didn't endorse a bunch of stuff so it'll take you to the immersive armors web page um, on the Nexus and I've endorsed that <laughs> uh, it's a great mod and then if you go to now there's a full tutorial made by Gopher um, and I recommend you watching his series on this uh, I'm just tell, like singing the praises of it so this right here uh, if there are any conflicts with this mod let's try something that would have a conflict like let's say mm, where's realistic ragdolls that would be a good one I don't have them in alphabetical order. I have them in the order that they are. No, I don't. They're. Let me see. Okay, <sighs> there we go. Realistic ragdolls and forces. You go to conflicts. It shows. Uh, the following conflicts are provided by this mod. Um, I have a mod that alters the wolf textures. It does true wolves. It's conflicting. Um, you overriding the skeleton of the wolf, a wolf basically, I guess, so that it works better with the ragdolls. And uh, the following conflicts are provided by other mods. This is the unofficial Dawn Guard, um, I think. Is it the unofficial Dawn Guard patch? No, it's just unmanaged uh, Dawn Guard. It's the regular Dawn Guard, sorry. Um, Dawn Guard is being overwritten by this mod. So, yeah. Um, then there's none that are non click conflicting, I guess. Uh, you can go to the categories and select a category you want to put this in. Um, any optional um, ESPs that you want to exclude from this, you can do it from here. Uh, you can, I think you can manage the, any files here, I'm not sure. Uh, text files, anything like a readme goes here. Um, you can go to where is it here we go this is the file structure of the mod and you can 
look at all the loose files. Now, Mod Organizer also uses loose files. It treats all files as loose files, including BSAs, uh, which are packaged, and um, it treats them all as loose files. So, and it doesn't delete anything. Once you install one mod and um, you have another mod that conflicts, maybe has the same file that it uh, changes, it'll keep both files intact in separate folders. And what it will do is, uh, whichever one is higher in the load order over here um, and here, uh, will it will decide which resource it will use instead of deleting it, like the uh, Nexus Mod Manager, and that's one really big advantage. Now, it does not have a load order um, number next to here. At least I don't think it does. Maybe I just don't have it over enough. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Um, let me actually move this over a little bit more. Probably see all of the information. <laughs> okay, this is the priority. It's different than load order. Um, priority means that the basically Skyrim is up here, and that's the first thing that it loads, and then anything after that down here. Uh, let's say race menu will overwrite something in Skyrim and down here if anything were to conflict with uh, race menu um, it would overwrite that but it doesn't delete it it keeps both files but it just decides which one to use which is completely awesome now it also uh, makes a virtual data folder. It does not alter your data folder. Folder, sorry. Uh, if you go to, let me go to my desktop and go to uh, where Skyrim Script Extender is located. Um, no, I want to go to Skyrim and then the data folder. It is completely intact as normal with all the official DLCs and there's no uh, texture folder and no uh, meshes or uh, extra sounds or anything like that. Um, everything is intact. The only thing I have in there is uh, the test 5 edit, which you need to install through Mod Organizer. Um, Gopher shows you how to do that. And I have the script extender. Also, you need to have that running through Mod Organizer. I think that detects it automatically if it's installed before you install Mod Organizer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me go back to this. Um, let me think of anything else that I love about this. Uh, this would be really good for testing mods, like if you're doing um, a Let's Play and you want your Let's Play thing to be clean of mods that you don't want in your Let's Play, but you want to use some mods that you, um, you know, during your Let's Play, but you can't install them because it would mess up your save game or whatever, and it'd be a hard thing to do to uninstall them properly. Sometimes scripts get stuck in there, and, you know, if you're testing it on your main game and whatnot, I don't know. Uh, it's a lot easier with this because you can use the profile system to separate the mod lists and make certain profiles like say if you wanted one for taking pictures, screenshots and you didn't care if it was uh, really laggy because you weren't going to be moving a lot you're going to be standing still taking a picture, screenshot you just go to a certain area of the game and um, take your screenshot with all your EMB and your high quality textures and your um, you know, anti-lasting and all that stuff, all the way to maximum, and uh, yeah, make it as pretty as you can. And you're not going to be playing with that save. You're going to be taking pictures. It's specifically meant for that. Um, you could have one where you are just testing mods and it, you just have that for the testing and you don't have to do it on your main save which is awesome so there's lots of possibilities and I hope you play around with them 
Uh, watch the video series from Gopher. He explains it in extreme detail. I couldn't have learned it as fast or as well without his help. And, um, yeah, uh, there are many functions and um, uh, options in this, and he shows pretty much all of them um, in a lot more detail than I can explain. I'm just telling you what I love about this thing. And I will probably be using it for my next Let's Play of Skyrim or any other game that I'm using mods for that this thing supports. And of course it will probably be updated regularly and become better just like the Nexus Mod Manager did. And I remember the days of manually installing mods and it was such a pain. Um, and trying to figure out what went wrong and it takes hours. But this... Um, let's say there's one thing uh... let's say we have a mod out of order let's um... Hmm, let's put the uh... realistic needs and diseases dawn guard patch above let's just put it at the top if we can that'll ensure well, we can't put it above ESMs, but we'll put it there. Okay. Now it's going to. Now this is going to conflict. Um, and well, actually, but we can sort it here. This has a built-in function of boss uh, or loot. Actually, it's uh, it's a better program, and you can have the full version of loot installed through mod organizer but this is just like a uh, shave down version version um, yeah, as that it's probably running a little bit slower because I'm recording but there we go okay uh, and it will put that back where I had it um let's find the see it's back down here realistic needs and diseases don guard patch so i find loot a lot more reliable than boss and it's pretty much got my load order perfect um there's a couple tweaks that i do but on the whole if it works i'm not going to change it um also this list here is the resources the actual mods themselves and you can order them by priority and actually if you have them loaded out of priority out of what they're supposed to be it will tell you up here with a little warning um, it says everything seems to be in order right now but if you had a problem it would tell you and it would say that one of these is out of order and it will conflict and other ways so yeah I just love this so much <laughs> I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and I'll see you guys in the next video please uh, leave a comment in the description in the description I keep saying that in the comment section below I will leave links to gophers tutorial video um, playlist and you can watch it there uh, I hope to see you in another video I'm doing um, Borderlands the pre-sequel at the moment and Half-Life 2 and I'm having a lot of fun with those also I'm playing some Minecraft but on and off not a whole lot and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye